Hello, hello. Today is Sunday. I have a device, well, two rather. I will review them and let's get started. But before we do, you may hear a faint fan in the background. I turn it off, but it's hot AF right now. And if the weather, <laughs> weather is anything to go by, then yup. So the fan stays on because I want to do this as comfortab comfortably as I can. So. Let's get the review on the way. Bye. Well, first off, well, I'll just show it anyway. It is the Oregon Trail handheld. So if anybody know what Oregon, the or, or should I say the Oregon Trail, as opposed to the Oregon Trail with its zombified stuff. If you're not familiar with the Oregon Trail, it looks like this. And now you know what the Oregon Trail looks like. So, what does this thing have? Well, by looking at it, it's a handheld. You can play the Oregon Trail with it. What more do you want? Well, what does it have? That's the question that you're asking. Okay, well, I'll show you what it has. This, the power button, kind of looks like a, it kind of resembles a floppy disk, but it is not, it is a power button. A D-pad, which it's horrible, but what do you, what can you do? Not to mention you got diagonals, which I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. A speaker, which adjusts the volume. The wagon, which I'm guessing that's a start button, or I'm not guessing. I should know this. It opens up the menu while you're traveling and such. Y and N, which are yes and no for answering yes or no questions, and enter, which that should be self-explanatory. And I just hit, hit the, yeah. Anyway, copyright info. This thing was made in 2017 by a company called Basic Fun. You probably you probably know those people because they've made uh, various um, stuff. Yeah, item number 09597. And what the hell are you doing, autofocus? You can't really see it. It does have CE and don't toss it in the bin. Very faintly, you could see it. And the autofocus is misbehaving. Um, seriously, what is going on? And of course, Yep, the dreaded screw that hold that the battery cover with the dreaded screw which holds four double A's. Yep. So I think that's what's there left to do is to turn it on and see what the organ trail is all about. And there it is. That is the Oregon Trail. You can travel the trail, learn about the trail, or see the Oregon Top 10. I would like to travel, please. Many people, <laughs> many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. Okay. I want to be a... I want to be the banker, because why not? What is my name? It's real simple. I'll just abbreviate it. A. Hello, I'm Matt. So are you going to Oregon? Yes. I'm going to Oregon.
Now the beauty of playing of uh, playing the organ trail on the go is not the greatest per se. I can't be bothered to Okay, so now here's where the uh, Y and N buttons come into play. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's go fast and and eat a lot. Well, let's ford the river. Cause what can go wrong, right? Well, I lost all that. Let's ford the river again, because what can possibly go right? Oh well. Bound to happen. Well. <laughs> well, that could have gone better. How about no? I must trade and I will turn it off because right now I don't have the patience to play to do an entire gameplay of the organ trial in handheld form no less if I wanted to I could have done it on PC but that's for another day so I have another one though and it is where in the world is Carmen San Diego if you're not familiar with where in the world is Carmen San Diego it looks like this. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And now you know what world, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Look, San Diego looks like. So, one thing I should have done, and good thing I'm doing it now. Size comparison. It looked like pretty much the same size, but that's thick as the Nintendo Game Boy. Same with the Oregon Trail one. Not bad. More or less. I don't recall it. I don't recall if both Oregon Trail and Carmen San Diego were released on Game Boy, but oh well. So what does this thing have? Much like the other one. Much like Oregon Trail. Power button. Yes, red power button as opposed to gray. A squared D-pad. Still not the best, but a lot better than the than the other one. Volume adjustment, a file I'm guessing, a back, and a proper enter button. By proper I mean what most enter buttons look like on most keyboards. And there's the uh, Carmen San Diego logo. And this one was made in, uh, well it doesn't have a year. But I'm guessing either 2018, 2019, as far as recent. Also by Basic Fun, item number 09613. 
And yes, you have the faint CE and don't toss it in the bin. And what, again, what is wrong with you autofocus? Although you can't see it, properly see it, but whatever. Battery cover with a dreaded screw. Also takes four double A's. The only thing left to do, of course, is turn it on and play it. There we go, nice PC <laughs> ad lib uh, music to go by. It's asking me to identify myself. So let's. <sighs> yeah, this, this D pad is not the best. I am currently a rookie. Good to know. Sorry, I haven't noticed anything suspicious around the bank. No? Well, got a good bank you got. Let's check the museum. <laughs> Never seen anything? Okay. I want to go to this country. Let's go to the marketplace. Sorry, I haven't seen anybody like anybody like that around here. Oh, well, that's good to know. And I think I'm gonna have to call it here because as much as I like to play, I don't have the time and patience to play this in in handheld form, much less in PC form. Which And there you go. So yeah, that's about it for both the Oregon Trail and Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Uh, if you want to get yourself one of these, I believe Amazon and eBay sell them. Because uh, where I got these, uh, I think I got them at Walmart, but I don't know if they still sell them anymore. But who knows? Yeah, this uh, device review Sunday hasn't been the best by any means. But because I'm still working on that other one, if I have the time, but it's going to get finished. I already have the script and everything else and the footage ready to go. But yeah, so yeah, Oregon Trail and Carmen San Diego on the go. It's up to you if you want to get one or not. It's best to be played on PC like they were back in the day. That's just my opinion. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, that'll do it for me. So until then, take care, stay, stay cool, and all that jazz. So until then, see ya.